everyone welcome back to my channel um we're doing friday favorites today friday favorites sorry i feel like i'm i'm jumbling my words um what is the date for this week friday the 27th of march i can't believe that march has already come and gone um you're probably thinking well why didn't you just do um a march favorites sweethearts those March favorites are coming, they will be coming next week because technically next week is the end of March. And I'd like to keep it as close to the end of the month as possible unless I'm running behind in my regular life schedule. Um, so yes, I will have a March favorites up, but right now I'm just doing my weekly favorites for today, uh, Friday, March the 27th. Um, I can't believe next week is already going to be Easter, the first week of April, which means my birthday is the following week. Yay me! Um, so April's my birthday month. And you know what? I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I have not done a lot of shopping um, for beauty for myself in the last, I would say, month or two, um, just because I have birthdays that I have to buy for um, the last couple months. So I've been pretty good with not buying my for myself, and I've been really good with, you know, using up products. So, you know, look out for my empties videos, guys. Look out for my updates for my Project Pan uh, project. Um, those are definitely going to be coming uh, at the end of the month as well. The project pan will have a be an updated video. Um, anyways, so I'm just gonna dive in with the products that I've been enjoying for this week. Um, it's been really well. It's Canada. I live in Toronto. It's uh, it's very cold this past week. It was getting warmer for a bit, like plus five, and then it dropped to minus fourteen. So I had to like bear with my skin because even though I am on a a skin an acne medicine. Um, when the drastic change like that in weather and temperature, it does kind of somewhat take effect to my body as a whole, including my skin. Um, but with that said, the skin products that I'm going to show you today, I've shown this before. This is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. This has salicylic acid and soy complex to even out the skin tone, to clear the skin tone, to clear the skin. Um, it's hydrating. Um, I don't think there's any parabens from what I understand. I could be wrong. Um, it is oil-free, it's hypoallergenic, and that's what I really like about this particular moisturizer. It is a drugstore brand, so if any of you ladies or men are on a budget and you need something that'll keep the, you know, breakouts at bay, you still want something to moisturize, check this guy out. It is definitely, I think, one of my favorite drugstore moisturizers to date. Um, I have tried the Nivea one. Eh. I'm not really fond of it. It's greasy for me. This one, not greasy. It really does smell like soy. So if you're not used to the, the smell of soy, you may not like that, but it's not very strong. And when you apply it to your skin, it, it the scent goes away right away. Um, I love this for evening and for day. There is no SPF, but I don't mind that because I usually have a um, BB cream or a foundation with SPF in it. So either way, I'm covered. Um, and yes, I do put a moisturizer on before I put my BB cream on just because it gives me that extra moisture that I need in order for my makeup application to go on very nicely in case anybody's wondering. So this has been a great favorite of mine. I'm, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can even tell, maybe not. Um, I've kept track of it. I was down to here. Now I'm down to here. So I've been using it twice a day and I've been going through it like no other. So I really do enjoy this. If you're on a budget, you need a moisturizer, definitely check out the Aveeno Clear Complexion at the drugstore. I think it's about nine or 10 bucks, something like that. Now, if I want a little bit of like coverage, I don't want to do like, you know, straight on just moisturizer. I need a little bit of coverage. Um, this week I have been using the MAC Studio uh, Moisture Tint in SPF 15. This is in the shade medium dark. Um, I'm wearing it today on top of the Aveeno. It's basically a tinted moisturizer, but it gives you a little bit of coverage so that, I don't know if you guys can see that, so that if you have any like you know, redness, like I have quite a bit of redness in, in this area and I wanted to kind of tone it down a bit. So this kind of gives me a decent coverage, not full coverage, but it, it kind of blurs out the redness a bit and tones it down just so that I, I don't really have to wear a really full coverage foundation if I'm not in the mood to wear a full coverage foundation. So this is the MAC Studio Moisture Tint. This is really, really good for the summertime. I love this for the summer, summertime. It's so light. It's so easy to, to wear, especially when it's really, really hot out. It's got an SPF 15, so you have your SPF in there already um, I usually wear this to the beach if I if I want to give myself a little bit of coverage I look so I look decent um, this is one of my favorites all year round especially in the summertime though and then once you finish it you can back to Mac it uh, the container I think I'm like down to here like right down to here so I still have a few ways to go but I really do love this I, I think this is like my fifth one I've repurchased this over and over again over the years so I really do love that and I did use it this week 
Um, so for for body care, I have been really into body splashes, which is the um, the body spray from Bath and Body Works. This is in the vanilla, warm vanilla sugar. I just I just I don't know. Has anybody tried? Has anybody tried this scent uh, before? If you guys haven't, go check it out. It's very it smells very delicious, like a sugar cookie kind of thing. But it's very I can't even describe it. It just really that's what it smells like: warm vanilla sugar. But you feel like you want to eat it because it, it it feels like it would taste so good. I know it sounds really weird. But I have been loving this. Um, I've been using it quite a bit. I've, as you guys can see, I mean, it was really full to the top when I first got it. So it has been, it has been dropping as I'm using it. I like to put this in my hair. I know that's really like unusual. Maybe I don't know if you guys do this. Sometimes if I'm if I'm around smokers, like some of my friends are smokers, and like if we're if we're outside or they're smoking, and you know the smoke is into my hair, and then I feel like my hair feels like it's it smells like full of smoke and stuff. But you don't want to wash your hair because you'd already washed it the day before, and you know you don't want to wash it every day. I kind of use this to like freshen up my hair just to kind of give it a better smell. And I don't use it all the time, but when I feel like it kind of needs that, just just a push of of nice scent to cover up the smoke. Um, this does this does the trick, and I really do like that. So it's multi-purpose, guys. It's not just for your your body. It's for your hair too. Why not? <laughs> um, on my nails, um, I've been using this baby pink shade. This is from the Hawaii uh, collection from OPI. This is called Susie Shops and Island Hops. I thought it was a cute name, but I really did love the color. It's like a nude pink, I guess you could say. Not even a nude pink. Like right now the light is shining on it and it doesn't do it justice. But I do post Instagram swatches of these with flash and without flash. So if you're not following my Instagram, link is down below. Please do come follow me. You can see all kinds of nail swatches, makeup looks that I do, products that I use for those looks, and etc. So this is what I was wearing this week and what I'm currently wearing today. I... You know, guys, with the drastic weather changes in temperature, my nails have been really brittle. So, like, they've been breaking. So, unfortunately, you know, I had to cut them a little shorter this time around just until the temperature starts to even out. Um, because with the change, the drastic change in weather, it's just so, so, so bad. So, um, I have been loving this and I really do enjoy it. I am going to probably use a mint green next maybe um or i might go nude uh, a little bit more nude just until they all even out in length give it a week or so um just so that they can get back to normal i still take my biotin gummies i still take my uh, vitamin gummies so that hasn't changed um it's just again it's the simple things drastic temperature weather changes really screws up my my nails so there's that um for blush i've been using the milani luminoso i think i sorry i didn't mean to blind you guys i think i've already shown you this last week but i really do love it and i have been using it um consistently this week again it just gives you a, a j-lo glow and that's what i that's what i really love see can you guys see that oh yeah like right there yeah that's what i'm talking about can you guys see that um, oh gorgeous. my eyeshadow base i have been using up my essence uh, i love stage eyeshadow base i don't know if you guys can tell down here is the line of where i'm at so i'm almost done um i took the stopper out and I like tried to clean up the sides a bit so um, I'm almost done this guy and I've had him for a while it was only three dollars I think if you if you really want an eyeshadow base that doesn't want to you don't want to you know spend a lot of money but you still want the you know the payoff of what it's supposed to do this is a great one I think it's I'm pretty sure it's under three dollars you can get it for a buck to two ninety nine something like that um, so it's only it comes in one color and it's like a yellow base and that's why I love it because it is yellow yellow based and my skin is a, is a yellow based tone. So um, that I've been also loving as my shadow base. I shown you last week my my ultimate favorite shadow has been Max Always Sunny and it still is. I haven't changed it. I just didn't include it in this this week's because um, I've been keeping my eyes simple. Um, always sunnies on my eyes um, so for mascara I've been really going to L'Oreal voluminous high waterproof mascara this is in black brown um, I love hate with this with this thing it is waterproof so it's a bitch to get off your eyes when you need to however you can cry you can throw water on your face this will not budge you need oil based makeup remover to get this baby off um, which is what I like about it, especially if you're going to a funeral, if you're going to a wedding, if you're going to somewhere where you know you're going to cry, happy or sad, whichever, this stuff will, will definitely lock you in. 
Um, the black brown I do like for every day and that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I really do really, really love this for every day only because sometimes you don't want to use black mascara on a daily basis because it can be very uh, harsh and popping on your face. So if you want something to kind of like soften your look, the black brown mascara definitely will soften up your everyday look. So I do have been, I have been enjoying that even though it can be a pain in the ass to take off. Um, so my brows, um, <laughs> this is actually an interesting thing because I have, I've, I've really enjoyed the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, um, in the shade Ebony. So I've shown you that many times before. I started using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I, at first I wasn't liking it. I didn't like how it applied. I was using it now and then just to kind of see, get used to how you use it. It is a very, very fine pencil. Okay. And it's very, very fine. So you have to... You have to, you have to work with it and get used to it, get used to it in order for you to appreciate the product. So it took me a while. I was getting a little frustrated with it at first because I wasn't used to um, the, the the tip because it's so fine. I'm so I'm more used to like a thicker pencil. So because it's such a finer tip, you have to get used to that and you know get used to the technique that you need to use for this. Um, finally, I got the technique down, and I think my brows have been not, never looked better. Um, I'm really excited. The only thing I hate about this is that it's $30 and you only get 0 0.085 grams, which seems like barely nothing, really. Um, most pencils come with 0 0.5, is it 0 0.5 grams? Something like that. I have to double check. Um, but they are a little bit more product for what you get. Um, so Anastasia, I'm really disappointed. You know, you're making consumers spend $30 in Canada, 20 something dollars in America for a pencil that maybe will even last you two weeks, three weeks tops, which just doesn't seem right to me. Um, I think that's pretty much cheating your loyal customers out of, out of, you know, quantity of the product. Um, at least be, have it be equal to what most pencils carry when it comes to grams or ounces i just find that it sucks that you only give us such a little product for such a big amount of money if you're going to keep it with such little product you should at least lower your price because it's it's ridiculous on how much one costs and then it doesn't very last you very long at all so i do like it it does work it does do wonders to my eyebrows like i don't know if you guys can tell i'm really impressed i'm, I'm right now using the shade ebony but i'm really really disappointed in the amount of product you get for the price you pay and if they were to keep it the same amount of the product they should drop the price only because it seems like you're paying way too much for such little product and that's not fair to consumers at all I just totally disagree with that. Um, nonetheless, though, the product is amazing. The little spoolie on the end is great to brush out your brows. I think it does really well. Um, and I love the fine tip of the pencil because you can get very precise. You can get where you need to go in little crevices without making a mistake. Um, I really do enjoy it. So thumbs up for this brow is. I think next time I'm going to, I'm going to probably repurchase this again. Um, only I'm going to probably purchase it in a different color because I think the ebony is a little bit too dark for me. Um, so I may go down a shade. Um, so I started using one of my back, uh, one of my Project Pan uh, powders. This is the Mac Studio Fix in NC42. As you can tell, it's very yellow, which is what I love. Um, it's a very finely milled powder. Uh, nothing too extravagant. I'm actually wearing it today just to kind of cover up a little bit more of my redness on top of my moisturizer. So I put on the Mac Studio tint and then I put this on just very lightly just to kind of even even it out a bit more. Um, this is in my project pan and I do plan on continuing to use this. I've always loved Mac Studio Fix powders. Um, the NC42 is a little bit darker than what I normally use as a regular foundation powder. However, with, you know, summer coming and um, my face will get darker, this is actually really good for my face as I get more tan. So I'm actually, you know, really excited to use this. And it, when it applies to my face, it really doesn't even apply dark at all. Um, I think because I am yellow toned and this is also yellow toned, it kind of works out. Okay, so finally, my last product of the week. I have been wearing, this is what it is. Um, this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Karina. Um, funny story. When my mother was pregnant with me, she wanted to name me Karina. And, or Corina. That's what it was. It was Corina. This one's spelled with an A after the C. C-A-R-I-N-A. My mom wanted to spell, wanted to name me Corina, C-O-R. 
um, INA. However, long story short, they named me after my grandmother, which is why my name is Antonetta. Um, anyways, I love this color. It's on my lips right now. The only thing is it kind of, if you're not careful, it can really make your teeth look yellow, even though your teeth may not be yellow. So you just got to be careful with that. Um, it's a coral shade. Love my corals. You guys know I love my corals. I can never get away from my corals. That is what is on my lips today, and I have been enjoying it this week. Um, it's, it's stay all day long wear. Um, it barely transfers. You can barely see any transfer. If, if there is any transfer, it's very, very minimal. Um, it does stay put, so you have pretty much a locked lip color in there for um, pretty much the whole day. So I have been enjoying this this week. I do have two other colors. One is more of a nude, and the other one is more of a hot pink. Um, so those are the three that I own in this particular brand and formula. And I don't know. I, I don't know if I really want the red one. I'm not really a red lip girl, and I don't wear red lips enough for me to go and spend that much money. These are pretty expensive. I think they're like 30 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, you know, you do get quite a lot of product, I'm not going to lie. Um, 0 0.10 fluid ounce. You know, for a liquid lipstick, that's quite a bit, and it should last you for a long time. And then you don't really need to use a lot, so it kind of works out. <sighs> Anyways, guys, um, that was it. I don't have very much, even though I yapped for a long time. If you guys have any comments or questions on the products I've shown you today, please leave them down below. I love to interact with you guys all the time in my comment section. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.